some other foods I, I think that struck me that, that were uh, too acidic, uh, fish, vinegar, tea, eggs, things like that that we consider, again, very healthy and are recommended to eat more of, but well, what I'll, do you say? Uh, I'll take uh, vinegar, okay? Vinegar uh, chemically is, is known as acetylaldehyde, and we already know what acetylaldehyde, it breaks down to ethanol alcohol. It's a great way to get food drunk. Mm. But vinegar has a low pH. It can range anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5, and you might as well be poisoning yourself because that's what you're doing, and the body reacts to that. But people have a wrong etiology about this whole alimentary canal. It's been improperly written and described. The pathology of digestion is not described properly in our biology and medical texts. In fact, there's no digestion that takes place other than our ability to liquefy or chew the food to a, to a state that the body can utilize. Anything that you swallow that's not pureed or liquefied will come out the same way it went in. The stomach does not digest food. The stomach is an alkalizing compartment that actually secretes sodium bicarbonate to raise the pH of the fluids of the body because the pH of the, of the food needs to be at a pH 8.4 in a liquefied state folding into the crypts of the small intestine to be transformed into stem cells to make our new blood. That is the primary site. If you cannot gain weight, you have damaged significantly your intestinal villi. Not because you're not taking enzymes, not because you're not taking probiotics, because you're drinking vinegar, you are drinking coffee, you are drinking black tea, you are drinking or eating acidic foods, and this is what destroys the body's ability to reproduce itself. And when you compromise the root system of the body, it is flat out game over. Hmm. So when you talk about the liquid form, is, is juicing a good thing to do if you're using the greens and things like well, that? Well, juicing is all pre-digested. Mm -hmm. So what you're getting from the juice is is you're getting an alkaline beverage if you're using alkaline fruit and vegetables, mm -hmm. okay, like cucumber. So we substitute the carrots for the cucumber. Carrots are high in sugar. Mm, cucumbers sure. are low in sugar. Why do people like carrots more than cucumbers? Sweet, because huh? they have a, a sweet tooth. They're addicted to their own taste, taste buds of those mm. particular foods. And you've got to get away from that. When someone craves sugar, they actually have a need for alkalinity and salt. That's the first mm. sign. They're trying to get a sugar fix. Sugar is an acid. It's a drug. It's a it's strong addiction, and our kids are addicted to this thing, and this is why mm. we're having so many problems in our schools and so many psycho problems, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, you know, schizophrenia, all of these uh, psychothermatic uh, problems that, that then our medical doctors are getting psychotropic drugs to our children that are making them do crazy things like go into schools and murder people. Mm. This is, this is a cause that's foundational to what people are eating, what they're drinking, what they're thinking. Alkaline people are peaceful, loving, kind people. Acidic people are angry, upset, and do awful things. And, and, and they really, you know, I, I was a, a, a witness for a, a, a client that actually did a, a horrible thing. And he can't even remember it. He ended up in jail for it. And he was literally intoxicated from his dinner he went into this rage and he find himself, you know, waking up in a prison, finding out what he actually did. And this is the problem we have. What is happening in the world today is a result of what we're eating, what we're drinking, and what we're thinking. We do not understand how the body works. What we need is a, just a little manual. In fact, we wrote a manual. It's called the PH Miracle Book. And that manual actually describes accurately the physiology of the body and the anatomy of the body. And, how the body actually works. Something as simple as what causes nausea. It's not described mm. in any medical text. And yet it's the, second, uh, it's the second leading symptomology that over the counter drugs are then taken to neutralize. Mm -hmm. One of those you probably are familiar with is an alkalizing co compound called Alka Seltzer. Mm -hmm. Tums is another one. What is the major ingredient of that is sodium bicarbonate? Well, the stomach produces sodium bicarbonate to neutralize the acids from our foods. When we're angry or we're, we're exercising or we need extra alkalinity, the stomach produces that, pushes that alkalinity into the blood and tissues to neutralize the acids of metabolism, and you get a belly full of acid. You know, I used to run marathons. I gave it up at the age of 29, but I always wondered, why are those people on the side of the road throwing up? And the reason they're throwing up is because the stomach's producing alkalinity to pull into the blood and the tissues so they don't die. And what mm. they get is a belly full of acid, and they're off the side of the road puking. Mm. And I've always wondered about that. 
But you ask your doctor, they don't even know what causes ad nauseum. I mean, something as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And yet, if we understand that nausea is, uh, that is experienced at uh, uh, women who are pregnant who have morning sickness, they need extra alkalinity because not only their metabolism, but the production of producing a baby produces mm -hmm. excess waste products, and the stomach has to produce the alkalinity in the form of sodium bicarbonate to neutralize those acids, or the mother and the baby dies. Mm -hmm. So what happens? The mother's in the bathroom puking. What? Hydrochloric acid, which is a pH of 1 to 1.5, and we need to put this into our bodies? Every drug that I've ever examined has hydrochloric acid in it. Every drug. Every mm -hmm. vaccine has an acid in it that will take life, not give life. Antibiotics are acids. What are we thinking here? Mm -hmm. We're literally destroying our society.